after you leap out of the water, how do you stay in the air? Oh, I spread me pectoral fins like this so I can glide. Hmm. And I use me tail fin to push myself out of the water. Fascinating. Hmm. Pectoral fins and a tail fin that can move. Got it. Okay, I've added pectoral fins and a tail fin, fully adjustable. Now, Cap, all we have to do is test her out and see if she'll fly. I'm afraid there's no time for a test, Tweak. Aye, we've got to get the professor's book back. There's not a second to lose. Peso, is our flying fish friend good to go? Time for a checkup. <laughs> Try moving your tail fin. How does it feel? Oh, it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> He's ready to fly, Captain. With your help, we'll find your friends and get the professor's book back. Into the gups, Octonauts, let's do this. Yow! Open the Octo hatch, Tweak. Aye, aye, Cap. Oh, mateys. And there's the professor's book. Let's see if we can fly too, me hearty. That's incredible. Look at them go. Amazing. <laughs> Flying fish. I see it. Octonauts, thanks to you, we can now at the ending to my great grandfather's adventure. We are ready. Oh, yes. Please. It was a beautiful starry night. The water was calm and smooth when all of a sudden I saw something leap out of the water. Something remarkable. And that something was a magnificent school of flying fish. Captain, we were just attacked by... Oh no, the radio's broken. Mm. Vanilla kelp pudding. Mm. Delicious. We've lost contact with the octopod. Ah, I bet these anemones are trying to take over the octopod just like they took over this rock. Hmm, Dashi said they were under attack. We need to get back there right away. Uh, don't leave me here alone. We won't. Peso, stay here with our crab friend, but don't move. Quasi and I will be back as soon as we can. Yes, Captain. Quasi, let's go. Into the gut. Don't worry. We'll help your friends just as soon as the captain gets back. <laughs> oh, no. They're making more copies of themselves. Oh my, there's a different group of anemones on the other side of the rock. They're getting closer. Ah, I don't see anyone in HQ. Just a whole lot of blobs. All right, we're going in. Yeah, it's quiet. Too quiet. I don't like all this quiet. Then why are we whispering? Hmm. Oh. Shiver.
Shiver me whisk! Yeah. Sorry, Captain. What? We're having a bit of a, a pudding problem. Pudding? pudding. Mm -hmm. Well, at least it's a tasty problem. Aye, Captain. But we need to get back to the beach to help Peso. Don't worry, Cap. We'll get this pudding problem fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. All right, Tweak. Quasi into the gob again. Peso, we're on our way. Hold your position. I don't think I have much of a choice, Captain. Ow! They're stinging each other. Ow! 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 Ow, that really hurt. Oh, yeah, I stung you because you stung me. You stung me first. No, you stung me first. Ow! 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 Got you last. Ow! <laughs> Got you last. Ow! 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 My friends, they'll get stung. Ow! 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 Stop! Anemones, please. Stop stinging each other. This rock belongs to us, and they've got to go. We've got to go. They've got to go. So you're fighting for a home? We get to stay here because we were here first. We were here first. Actually, this little crab and his friends were here first. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Just coming through Thank you very much. Which means both of you are on their rock. Oh. Oh. Well, we have to live somewhere. What about us? We have to live somewhere too. Let's work out a way for everyone to share this rock. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. You're stepping on me tail. Sorry, but it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Ah, typical walrus behavior. They love to get cozy and cuddle with one another. Cozy isn't quite the word for it. That's better. Don't get too relaxed. Aye, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. <sighs> Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jumpy jellyfish, it's a walrus challenge. <sighs> he wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, We'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> bigger. <laughs> Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? M medical bag? It's white, and uh, it opens up, and inside... Oh, you mean uh, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! Careful. Quasi, try to get back into position. Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting Ooh. on my... Uh, hey, 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 Intruders! Oh, run! Captain, come in. What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time. <laughs> Take them to the chief. At least we get to meet the chief. Oh. Chief, 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 chief. What are you doing in our colony? Speak. Uh, please, we didn't mean to bother you. We're just looking for Peso's bag. You mean that strange white clam? That's it, my medical bag. Your medical bag? I'm the Chief Walrus. It's mine. We don't want any trouble, Chief, but that bag belongs to my friend Peso. You think you can just waddle into my colony and tell me what to do? Oh no, his flipper. Stop! You shouldn't be walking around on a hurt flipper. If it's not bandaged right now, it will only get worse and worse until... Oh, my flipper really does hurt. 
Can you tell me what happened? Well, I twisted it the other day, and now I can't even swim. That's why everybody's been bringing you clams to eat. Do you think you could do anything for me? Hmm. One twisted flipper. I'll need my medical bag. Uh, all right. Here. There. Good as new. Jumping jellyfish. The eels are getting out of the water and travelling on land. Let's investigate. Look at them wriggle right over the mud and dirt. That's fascinating. Eels can breathe air for a short time, so they can leave the water and go over land if they have to. Nothing stops them on their way up the river. Nothing. Ugh. Did somebody say something? Help! Where are you? Down here! Hello there, are you stuck? Yes, and I really need to get out. Hmm. Can you grab onto this, matey? Yes, go on, pull me up and please hurry. <sighs> did you fall into that hole, little eel? Yes, yes I did. If there's a hole in the ground, I'll be the one eel who falls into it. So, thanks very much for getting me out, but I really have to be on my way. Uh, oh, ow, ouch! Oh, my tail hurts. <laughs> I can't move. Don't worry. Don't worry? My friends are getting farther and farther away, and now my tail's hurt. I can't even wiggle. I'll never catch up to my friends like this. We can help you. Really? Of course. We are the Octonauts. What seems to be the trouble? It's my tail. It hurts so much I can't move. Hmm. You need a bandage. <laughs> that was fast. It feels better already. Thanks. You're welcome. And now I've really got to get going. You need to rest for a while. Oh, I can't rest. Must keep moving. Got to catch up to me friends. Captain, he's not strong enough to make a long swim up the river. I'm afraid he'll never make it to the lake on his own. We'll make sure he's not left behind. Oh, I may need a little help getting back in the water. We'll give you more than a little help. Aye, we'll take you all the way to the lake. Oh, thanks. It won't be easy, but we'll swim up the river just like the eels and make sure our friend gets to the lake safe and sound. Aye, aye, Ready, Captain. let's go. Oh, and one more thing. We'll need the smallest life belt we've got. Octonauts, let's do this. <sighs> that water's too rough to swim over, and those rocks are too high. This will take some teamwork. Think you can get this to the top, Quasi? No problem, Captain. <sighs> Could get bumped! 
Everyone, mission complete. Ah, but we still haven't cracked Calico Jack's coconut. You're right. Hmm. If we drop it onto a rock from up here, it just might crack open. Okay, drop. Uh, ah! And crack. My babies. What was in the coconut? This is no coconut. It's a hollowed out cannonball from Calico Jack's ship. Whoa! Whoa! So that's why it was so hard to crack. And here's a note from Calico Jack. He says, thanks for rescuing me, mateys. These here three coconuts are for the little tykes to practice their cracking skills. Training coconuts! Let's get cracking. Look, there's something on the other side. So there is. Oh, and if you ever run into me grandson Quasi, tell him for me. Yeah. Feed the cubs. The storm is over. But they'll be. It's a mess! Oh, oh, what is happening? Silence! We have claws, do we not? We, we do! We will use them to clean this up. Uh -huh. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> uh, just warming up. <laughs> oh, it, is a, it is a giant crab! Oh, you! What business do you have on our beach? I'm warning you, stand back! Oh, the oh. 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 Huh, no sign of the crabs yet. It'll be quite a job finding the octoscope in this mess, Captain. We'd better clear it all away first. Hmm, look at these tiny balls of sand. Shellington? What do you make of these? It looks like they were made by the fiddler crabs. They put sand in their mouths, eat tiny bits of food from it, and then spit the rest out in little balls. Then we must be near their tunnels. We'll have to be extra careful. Octonauts, let's clean up this beach. <laughs> This is no time to eat! This giant crab may not be our friend! Hmm, this seaweed just won't come off! Oh, but look! He's giving us a friendly wave! Hello, bonjour! Bonjour! Maybe this will get it loose. Aha! That is no friendly hello! That is a challenge! The giant crab thinks he can take over our beach with a snap of his giant claw! Will we surrender our home to this giant nincompoop? No! Then, sideways, march! That's better. <clears throat> Octonauts, the beach looks great. Captain, I'm sending you a scan of the beach. I found the octoscope. Hmm, 
Those must be the Fiddler Crab's tunnels. And there's the octoscope, buried in the sand. We'll have to dig it out by hand so we don't disturb their homes. If we start digging right there, and we're very careful to avoid this tunnel... Hey, giant crab! I saw you with your claw. I accept your challenge. <coughs> I said, I accept your challenge! Huh, you think you can ignore me, you yellow bellied crab pig? <laughs> Dig that! Dig that! Dig that! Ha! Chop, chop, chop! Oh, and now you try to eat me! Oh, you sorry excuse for a crab! Ah! <laughs> 